Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to give you an update on a project that I've been working on. Uh, so over the last couple days I've been trying to dig into my collection again and, and break it out and sort all of it into individual player collections. So basically what I've done is I've, I've started with uh, some of my earliest cards from the, uh, the late 40s, early 50s and kind of broken them out according to player. Now you'll see some of these stacks are larger than others. There's a couple guys that I do uh, primarily collect more than others. So, uh, you know, you see like a Ray Campanella. I've got a few uh, Ralph Kiners over there. But then uh, you can start seeing guys like Richie Ashburn. Don't have his rookie card. The 49 card is very expensive. It's a, a short printed high number from the 49 set. But then there's guys like Gil Hodges, uh, Robin Roberts, uh, Early Wind down there that I do have really good comprehensive collections. The ultimate goal is to get all the players' cards uh, from their rookie year all the way up until you know, the end of, end of their playing days. So looking at this, uh, I've got a really nice Hoyt Wilhelm collection. Uh, still only missing his 1952 Tops high number card. I've got a really good uh, Al Kaline collection. My Ernie Banks collection is, is totally complete. I've got everything of his uh, from his, obviously his 54 here. All the way up to his 71 tops. I do not have his 55 Bowman. That's a short print as well. Really strong Harmon Killebrew collection. Missing his 58 and 59 and his 70. But other than that, I've got most of his stuff. He had a long playing career. Uh, these two pitchers who both uh, have these rookie cards from the 57 set. I have uh, everything at Dron Drysdale all the way up till his last card in 69. And then everything of uh, Jim Bunning up to his last card in 71. Moving over here, uh, my main guy here, Bob Gibson. I've got it broken down into two stacks. I have over 100 Bob Gibson uh, PSA graded stuff. Um, my main guy right there. So, yeah, all of his stuff is complete. A lot of odds and ends stuff, you know, some uh, food and beverage, you know, just some, some wacky stuff that he has. So that's been my, my primary project. Another guy I've got a lot of is Frank Robinson. I've completed uh, my collection of all of his stuff. He's got a lot of stuff, had a long career, and even a little bit of his managerial stuff in the mid to late 70s as well. Brooks Robinson is a guy that I've been working on uh, the last year quite a bit. Uh, still missing a few of his things, but for the most part, uh, primarily complete on the Brooks Robinson as well. And then uh, looking over here, another guy that I have a, a good collection of is the Willie McCovey. Um, that set is complete from his 1960 all the way to the early junk wax. He has an 81 Fleer. So he had a really long playing career and he kind of really, uh, uh, his career really lengthy. And uh, so you got a lot of 60s, obviously 70s, all the way up in the junk wax. A little bit of Roberto Clemente, not much. And then some of the other bigger guys like Hank Aaron. I got a nice Hank Aaron collection. Nothing before that 58. And same with Willie Mays, nothing before that 58. So not a lot of the uh, the real expensive, rare, early Mays and Aaron, but uh, still really proud of the collection. A little short stack of Yastrzemski. Looking at uh, Juan Marichal, really good, strong wear, Mon Juan Marichal collection. Everything from his 61 up to his 74 tops traded. And then uh, some really short stacks here. Not a big uh, Mickey Mantle collector, but I do have a couple of his, of his cards. I have some more of his stuff, too, that's uh, oversized, and then some that he splits the card with other players. And I've just uh, uh, put those in the stacks with the other players, such as Willie Mays and Harmony Killebrew and Al Kaline. I have a couple cards where he's on there with them. But uh, Roger Maris, rookie. Some basketball cards here. Really not meant to be a basketball card video. Same with some football here that I really haven't got. I uh, haven't broke these out yet and looked at them, but I will in, in some, when I have the time. And then the last side over here on this back row, I've got a list of our of line of some commons and regional stars. You know, you don't always have to collect uh, expensive cards to enjoy the hobby and to enjoy collecting vintage. So these are some things in sevens and sixes that I've picked up. I mean, I really like the old style sets. I like the artistry. I like the, the colors. And uh, just that something that old is in such good shape. 
and you can buy these you know for for less than the cost of grading a lot of times to be honest with you so I've picked these up on the cheap over the years I have been collecting this stuff since 2011 so I'll be honest with you a lot of the more expensive items I have I purchased in 2011 12 13 14 haven't really bought a lot of expensive stuff lately uh, with prices being what they are but I continue to work on these uh, Hall of Famers as the primary focus. Uh, Gaylord Perry, I've got all his stuff. I don't have his uh, 78, uh, but I have all his other stuff all the way up to his vintage years. You know, I, I for a guy like Gaylord Perry who played up into the mid 80s, I uh, I try to get everything up to 19, up to and including 1980. Uh, Lou Brock is a guy who played all the way up into 79. Got all his stuff up to 79 with the exception of a, like a 78 highlights. Then you see a guy like uh, Willie Stargell down there. I've probably got like maybe six or seven Stargell cards. And then uh, Pete Rose. have everything of Pete Rose with the exception of his first two cards, his rookie in 63 and his first individual player card in 64. But not a bad collection. And Rose is another guy that I do have some of his Junk Wax Air stuff as well at the bottom of that stack. Uh, Phil Necro, another guy I've worked on. I've started working on the Phil Necro collection a little bit more. Uh, the Joe Morgan collection is almost complete. I just need a 77. I uh, I wanted it on an eBay bid, and seller never sent it, and I just haven't got around to get another one. Let me uh, let me adjust myself here. Pardon, pardon me. And then uh, the Steve Carlton lefty, a, a really strong collection as well. I'm I'm pretty much complete on that. Uh, the, Jim Hunter, Catfish Hunter, I've been working on that collection uh, a lot in the past year. And th these two guys, uh, both from 66, rookie class, Fergie Jenkins and uh, Don Sutton, uh, pretty much complete on those, as well as that Jim Palmer complete. And then as I move back here to this last section, uh, looking at that Tom Seaver, I've got his rookie downstairs, I don't know. I haven't brought it back up. It's a, it's SGC graded, not PSA, but uh, I've really done a lot of work on that Seaver collection over the past year as well. Uh, when it comes to guys like Rod Carew, I'm complete with that. have all his stuff, uh, just missing some of his modern junk wax era stuff. And then a guy that I really enjoy collecting, Nolan Ryan. was always a fan of his as a kid. Uh, he's had such a long playing career. He's got a lot of stuff, but I'm really good on his vintage stuff. Obviously, I don't have all his new modern stuff, but all the vintage. And then a couple short stacks of some other good Hall of Famers. Uh, Johnny Bench, Raleigh Fingers, and then a little bit of Reggie Jackson. Now, moving back here, some stars and Hall of Famers from the early 70s on to the late 70s. I got a nice uh, Mike Schmidt collection there. But uh, once again, I'm only like collecting the first couple years of some of these guys. I haven't... Uh, really deeply developed into these guys. Uh, later playing years back in the junk wax era, I was just looking to get uh, their vintage era stuff. So you can see that. And then over here, here's the stuff from the 80s. I've got one 80s, that Ricky Henderson rookie, and everything below that is 81 on to the early 90s junk wax era stuff. But these are all Hall of Famers, guys that I've liked to collect, you know, all the way up to, to some Jeter stuff, guys that just got elected. Uh, but it's fun, you know, I, and, and I'm not all about the vintage, you know. I like some of this junk whack era stuff because that's, uh, that's what I collected when I was a kid. This other stuff is just stuff that I've enjoyed picking up because, you know, when I was a kid, I could never afford this stuff. So I've just, uh, I've been fortunate enough to pick it up over the, the last nine years and just wanted to show that for you today. Uh, once again, everyone, I appreciate your posts and comments. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you again later.